Claire, welcome back to Emotional Mojo. So you know our challenge today is to stop judging others. Yes. There are no greater victims of that than people living with mental illness. More than 57 million Americans suffer from a mental illness disorder during any given year, and many of them end up in jail or homeless, but one woman has made it her mission to create a safe haven for them. A venture inspired by her brother. Take a look at this. Dave's house was inspired by Dave Jeffries, who is my older brother and only sibling, who for 40 years struggled with the most menacing of mental illnesses, schizophrenia, until his death two years ago. He was an extraordinary person to me in our growing up years as my role model and mentor, but even more so after he got ill. He showed such courage and determination, overcoming many hurdles uh, through all the torment that schizophrenia causes. For 25 years, he struggled to find some semblance of stability. Wow, and Dave's sister, Lynn Walensky, and her husband, Ron, are joining us now to pick up the story from there and tell us all about Dave's house. Welcome, both of you, Thank to you. our Thank show. You. Glad Thank to be here. The work you're doing is so important. It's amazing. And let's stick with the story that started it all with your brother, Dave. So what happened? He started to lose grip on reality in college? Yes, okay. and in his third year of college, he had his first psychotic break, and it caused him to leave school and to abandon his dreams in the prime of his life. And for those next 25 years, he, despite all of the treatment options available to him, he was unable to find any stability. And you say, I mean, he tried basically everything he could. Even electric shock treatment, wow. psychotherapy, wow. Yeah. all the medica medications. modern medications yeah. that were available. And Dr. Sam, when you hear this, is this something that's pretty common? I mean, the, the, a lot of mental illnesses, it's, there's a struggle to get the stability and to get things working properly, yeah. and sometimes it, it, it's, a, it's a long process. And for yeah. some people, it just doesn't work. And in your case, in your brother's case, that's, the, that's what happened. He was in and out of the hospital, mm -hmm. on and off his medications. He, was even, um, he even went missing at one point wow. and was homeless for a period of time all because of his illness, which is right. also very typical. Yes, well, there is a silver lining to this, which is what's so inspirational and why we have you both here, because he ended up finding permanent counselor-supported housing. Tell us how that came about and why it was such a big deal. Finally, we were able to find this wonderful housing for him. And it is affordable and permanent housing, meaning he could stay there for a lifetime. Wow. And it was connected with support, support services yeah. that would help him stay well. Services like making sure that he was on his medication, yes. that, um, it, that he had something meaningful to do with his time during the day, that he had the coping skills uh, to cope with his yes. illness and mm -hmm. also to manage his illness well and uh, that he was getting along harmoniously with his housemates. Could I add to that? That's great. When he found permanent housing with mental health support services, kind of the, the outcome of this was, he did great. He bonded with his roommates. Mm -hmm. He got a part-time job. Mm -hmm. He got a car. And he lived. It's a normalcy. It was, it was just saving grace, really. Yes. It, it was. Like. But why is there not more of this available? And we'll get to how this inspired Dave's house, but, but maybe you can the, contribute there, to this. As in different states, what they've done is closed down a lot of institutionalized yes. um, okay. care. And so what they're doing is more of this, which is community-based living. So where people have, it's almost like a group home kind of type of, of living, yes. where there's support in the, in the living yep. situation. There's round-the-clock support, and people can live in the community but have that support. So there's that sense of normalcy. Well, um, and peace the, of mind for the families, for the family. I'd right, imagine. Right. That yes. it's not a, quote, institution. Yes. You know, yeah. Like you said, yeah. Yes, and, and many families are um, have aging parents who are taking care sure. of these sure. folks and aging siblings. Right. And they are concerned about what's going to happen to their loved ones when they're not yeah. here to so take care of them. Let's get to now how you guys are helping and doing your part. You have honored him by creating Dave's yes. House. Tell us a little bit about Dave's House. Well, how it works is Dave's House is a fundraising organization. So at daveshousedoor.org, people donate. We buy a house, and then we partner with the, the mental health professionals in the community okay. to provide support services. Wow. And the, the outcome of this is the person that you see on the street in your city is now living in a house and no longer involved in that revolving mm -hmm. door, mm -hmm. homelessness to jail right. to a medical unit. So are the counselors actually living in the house or do they no. just come and help out in shifts? They uh, drop in. These are okay. people who are 
basically independent but need some help. So they okay. get drop-in okay. support, they go to Got day it. programs. Right. Let's talk yeah. about the people because we have some clips of what some of the residents had to oh, say about yeah. it. Check this out. Living at Dave's house has been really a very good place for me to be independent. When I was at home, I wouldn't I wouldn't have any place to, you know, anybody to talk to or any, anything. I was isolating. I wasn't eating. I wasn't taking care of myself. I don't have the anxiety. I feel like I'm at a place that I'm taking care of. I'm living here at Dave's house for over a year. Um, it has helped me progress in, in all areas of my life. I was just worried. I thought I was going to be in jail for the rest of my life, in and out of jail to live, because I can't live on the streets, you know? And it really helped, it helped me control my anger, uh, budget my money, and pay rent, and, and live independently. But you have people of all ages, yes. all demographics, yes. and, and you seem to get a little emotional watching this. What's it like to see the great response to something you guys created? Well, I think of one of the residents, his name is Scott, mm -hmm. and Scott lives in the men's house, and prior to Dave's house. He lost his family. He lost his job. Can't see his mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. After Dave's house, he ended up getting a, a job as a mental health counselor, mm -hmm. a peer Aww. counselor, and he uh, has a little business where he sells art, and he's just doing great. He's yeah. doing terrific. He even gives back in the community. On holidays, he goes to the Salvation Army, and he serves uh, the homeless. Wow. Yeah. And he teaches art skills to the children. It's reconnecting him yeah. to the community mm -hmm. and giving him some hope. One That's other quick great. quick oh, example. There in the women's house, there was one women woman in that house that was homeless for five years, living under a blue tarp in the woods. And you can imagine what happens to a woman yep. living, you know, in the woods like that for five years. Wow. She Jeez. is doing great. She's stable, she's on her meds. Every day she's out in a day program for vocational mm -hmm. services. Wow. So it's life changing. Yeah, absolutely. Big question, how can people help? Because we have to wrap it up, but I'd love to let people know what they can do. Please go to daveshouse.org. We're a fundraising organization and help us get more houses. We have we uh, donate and help us. We've got a goal of 20 houses, housing over 100 people, okay. and a goal to be a model for the state of Florida, and who knows, maybe nationwide. Yeah, you know, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, you guys are Thank doing you. something fabulous. Thanks. Like you said, you can head Thank to daveshouse.org for more information.